Let's talk about how to make the most of your self-published books distribution and royalty rates. In the past, I've done a lot of self-publishing videos on which print-on-demand company is best in terms of distribution, quality, royalty rates, all of that. If you want to see a playlist down below, I do unboxing videos to review the quality. I do tutorial videos to tell you how to upload your book to each specific print on demand company. But did you also know you can print with more than one print on demand company at a time? That is exactly what we're talking about in today's video. We're going to be talking about which print on demand companies work well together, which ones do not work well together, and specifically what you need to do in order to work with more than one print on demand company at a time. So today specifically we're talking about how to make the most out of your distribution and make you the most money in terms of royalty rates. My name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, book cover designer, and the creator of the Book Launch Planner series. And if you want weekly videos on the business of being an author, then make sure to subscribe. So in this video, we're going to be talking specifically about printing your self-published books. So keep that in mind as we're talking about distribution and royalty rates. It's all specific to print books. Ebooks is a totally different ballgame. Some of the print-on-demand companies that I'm talking about today are Ingram Spark, Kindle Direct Publishing, Draft to Digital, Barnes and Noble Press, and Lulu. And I'm not going to go into the full pros and cons of each of those companies. So if you want to learn more about them and which ones have the best quality and royalty rates, make sure to check out my beginner's guide to self-publishing a book series here on YouTube. In that series of videos, I talk about everything that you need to know when you're publishing your book, including all the research that goes into picking the best print-on-demand company for your book. And speaking of the best print-on-demand company, I actually have a video where I kind of took all the studying and research that I'd done and I crammed it all into one video to really do a highlight reel of the best quality and royalty rates and all of that jazz. So if you want to just watch one video, that's the video to watch. It'll be linked down below. But let's jump into today's topic and talk about how to work with more than one print-on-demand company at a time when you're self-publishing your book. Now the reasons why you would work with more than one print-on-demand company at a time is so you can get the best distribution as possible. So let's talk first about the companies that offer wide distribution. And those companies are Ingram Spark. Lulu and Draft to Digital. Now, right off the bat, I kind of want to push Lulu and Draft to Digital to the side in this discussion because while they both offer wide distribution, their pricing for their books isn't great. So, you as an author don't make a lot of money when you print your books through them. I'm talking a couple of cents, whereas if you print your book through Ingram Spark, you can make a couple of dollars depending on how you price your book. So, when we're talking about wide distribution, the front runner in in this case is Ingram Spark. Now the one caveat with Ingram Spark is that, well, there's a couple of them, but they're not the most user-friendly platform and I speak from experience. I've learned a lot publishing with them over the years. In fact, I have an entire playlist on Ingram Spark. So if you're brand new to Ingram Spark and you kind of don't know the ropes yet, make sure to watch that playlist because there are things you should watch out for when you are publishing your book with them because it can be inexpensive or embarrassing fix. So now that we've talked about wide distribution, let's talk about targeted distribution. And targeted distribution is basically just saying that this print-on-demand company only prints their book in one spot. And those print-on-demand companies are Kindle Direct Publishing, which only prints your book on Amazon, Barnes & Noble Press, which only prints your book on barnesandnoble.com, and Lulu, which, like I said earlier, Lulu has expanded distribution, but they also have like distribution just through Lulu or distribution just through your website. So it kind of depends on how you choose to work with Lulu. Lulu can be a little bit confusing for that reason, but again, we're not gonna be talking about that too much today. Now, why am I bothering to talk about these targeted distribution print-on-demand companies like KDP and Barnes & Noble Press? Well, the main reason is that KDP especially has the best royalty rates. If you publish a book on Ingram Spark and then the same exact book on KDP, sometimes you can make almost a dollar or more on KDP. 
When you're an author, that's a pretty big difference because typically you're looking only to make $3 per sale anyways. So if you can make $3 on KDP or $1 or $2 on Ingram Spark, that's a big deal. And then this is where publishing with two different print-on-demand companies at the same time comes in hand. Let's talk about the first and most popular combination, which is publishing with Ingram Spark and KDP at the same time. So when you publish one book with KDP and Ingram Spark at the same exact time, basically what happens is anytime someone buys your book on Amazon, KDP fulfills that order, giving you the higher royalty rate. And then when someone buys your book literally anywhere else that's wide distribution, Ingram Spark fulfills that order at the slightly lower royalty rate that you select. Now this is great because the majority of your sales are probably gonna come from Amazon anyways, so having that extra money in royalty rates is really great. Now in order to achieve this, there's one thing that you have to do to make sure that having the same book listed twice on the same platforms works seamlessly, is you have to ensure that that the ISBN that you use on KDP is the same exact ISBN that you use on Ingram Spark. Now, with that said, you can't use a free ISBN provided by KDP or Ingram Spark. You have to purchase an ISBN that you own, and then that ISBN is going to be able to be used for both KDP and Ingram Spark. The reasoning behind this is because if you got a free ISBN from KDP and then you tried to use that free ISBN on Ingram Spark, Ingram Spark won't let you, and vice versa. Now you may say, well, I'll just use a free ISBN from both platforms. So you have a free ISBN from KDP and then a free ISBN from Ingram Spark. If you do this, what will end up happening is that your book will be published on Amazon through KDP, and then your book will also be published on Ingram, Amazon through Ingram Spark. So you'll actually have two listings on Amazon because they're two separate ISBNs. But if you use the same ISBN on, on both platforms, it syncs up so when the book is published on Amazon, only one listing shows up. It may sound a little complicated, but just the big important thing is purchase your ISBN that you own so you can use it on KDP and Ingram Spark for the same book. That's the end of the story. If you're a little confused by ISBNs and what they are and how you buy one, I actually have a tutorial video that I made, so I will link that down below as well. The next combination I want to talk about is Ingram Spark and Barnes & Noble Press. And this is a combination that won't work. And the reason why this combination won't work is because it leads back to the ISBN issue that we were talking about earlier. Because I unfortunately learned that when you publish your book through Barnes & Noble Press, they actually require a dedicated ISBN to Barnes & Noble Press. So that means even if you had a ISBN that you purchased, they will force you to use a different ISBN on Barnes & Noble Press. So then if you publish the same book on Barnes & Noble Press as Ingram Spark, you'll actually end up with a double listing on barnesandnoble.com. It's just kind of an annoying thing. So just know if you publish your book on Ingram Spark, don't bother publishing your book also on Barnes & Noble Press. And the last combination that we're gonna talk about today is KDP and Barnes & Noble Press. So you can actually use the two of these together without any overlap because KDP only publishes on Amazon and Barnes & Noble Press only publishes on barnesandnoble.com. So even though the books will have different ISBNs, there won't be any weird overlap because they're two different websites that they're listed on. So you'll be using the Barnes & Noble Press ISBN for barnesandnoble.com, and then you'll be using whatever ISBN you want for Amazon. Now you may be saying, why would I bother doing that? Because Barnes & Noble Press doesn't offer me expanded distribution. It just offers me barnesandnoble.com. So if the thing that you want is the biggest distribution possible, you should definitely go with Ingram Spark. But there are some benefits with using Barnes & Noble Press. Barnes & Noble Press is just another website to have your book for sale on, so if you are normally an Amazon exclusive author, you can also have your book listed on barnesandnoble.com. But Barnes & Noble also offers paperback pre-orders, so if that's something that's important to you, then you can definitely go ahead and get a pre-order going for your paperback book by publishing your book through Barnes & Noble Press. Because if you normally just publish with KDP, 
you will of course know that at least at this time, KDP only offers ebook pre-orders and not paperback or hardcover pre-orders. So those are the different ways you can combine different print-on-demand companies. If there's any other combinations that you can think of, let me know in the comments down below. Again, I didn't really talk about Lulu or draft to digital today just because their royalty rates aren't really good enough for authors right now in order to make it really worth it for us. But I'm hoping, especially with draft to digital in the future, that the royalty rates will be much better because I would love to see draft to digital as a competitor for Ingram Spark because I think they could get there someday. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week.